All right. So many of you may have already seen this, but let's uh, put it on the record. Ten. Is that really you? Hello, Hobbit. Yes, it's me. Where are you? Where are you calling from? Hobbit, I know you're looking for my boat. You're not going to find it. Really? Was I close, at least? Did I find the right marina? Yeah. Yeah, nice try, Hobbit. Now stop looking. I will never stop. I can't stop. You don't seem to understand, Hobbit. You're not going to find me, but I can find you. In fact, I know where you are right now. This is a retarded, like, dramatization between some guy called 416 Hobbit and 10 Muses. 10 Muses is the top donor of Finster. Um, he has given Finster over $300,000 over years to pink pill himself and become the Finster we know and despise. Once was an ordinary boy, uh, a grown man with tons of disposable income, heaped hundreds of thousands of dollars into this impressionable, attention-deprived Twitch streamer, turning him into a colossal faggot for pay. Which is its own kind of, of fetish for gay people. Gay people love the idea of, like, convincing straight men to suck dick for cash. Like, being able to, like, pink pilling is one thing, like, gay shit is this other thing, but, like, being able to convince a formerly straight man to, like, become a gross tranny by paying him hundreds of thousands of dollars is, like, its own goon sesh. So this guy is depraved, and as he has made the joke, you will never find him. Which, of course, people interpret as a challenge. Um, Ten Muses is this guy, probably. There's been some discussion, which I'll get into, but... Um, the, there were, li uh, his email address, 10 muses at Gmail was made public by him in various discussions with Finster. And, um, he had made single donations of over $30,000 that you can see here. His, uh, email checked out as 10 muses at Gmail that leaked into different, um, data dumps. Um, like, uh, when there were hacks, his information got leaked out. So you can see that. His password matched um, other other accounts uh, with similar GOIPs. Um, certain like phrases like 432 came in to play. It got located to Midland, Texas. The 10 Muses thing also brought up um, a Goodrings account by a guy named Larry in Tyler, Texas. Fast People Search had a record for Larry Edwards in Midland, Texas, which is the same area. Um... And there is a Midland Health that has the same Larry Edwards, who is a medical doctor. Not only a medical doctor, he's a senior investor um, and manager. So he's involved in a lot of profit-driven industries. He's a successful individual himself. He has a medical doctorate um, who actively practices medicine. So that would explain how he has hundreds of thousands of dollars to dump into pink pilling Finster. There was some discussion over and this is just him explaining that um <clears throat> he did a uh, internship at the University of Nebraska which briefly um there was some posts that he had made where uh, he was in Omaha at the time and his son is also like a shemale he's like a 30 something year old tranny himself so there was a question of if it was the tranny son who was um Pink Pelling Finster using Daddy's credit card, or if it was Larry himself. But most people are pretty sure that it's now Daddy, which is very creepy because it's like, okay, he's into Pink Pelling young boys. Like, Finster is younger than his son, and his son's a homosexual female. Uh, and he's into that and finds that sexy. That's kind of creepy, if true, chat. Isn't that a little bit creepy if that's the reality that he's living in? I think that's a little bit creepy, chat. Um, so, uh, he offered, wait, uh, actually I thought $300,000 was the amount that he has given Finster. So I really have no idea what the total amount of money that this guy has given Finster actually is. $300,000 was his, um, was his amount that he was willing to offer Finster for getting breast augmentations like silicon implants for at least a year. 
Um, and Finster really deliberated on that and decided against it. Um, and if he had accepted, it says here, that would have been the greatest, largest private donation in Twitch history. So we think of those um, Saudi Arabian oil uh, princes or whatever, and that was less than that. They're talking about it in his Discord. His Discord mods are very good at like cleaning up any public discussion about things happening on the Kiwi farms. So there's not too much to dig through there. Um, this is 10 Muses on our Fenster that was posted in 2022. He says, don't cancel Fenster. He doesn't know. He didn't know it was a trans icon. He has a very real shark phobia. His actions were completely understandable and excusable. A good sugar daddy always protects his sugar baby. Uh, this is Tim Muses replying to nice dress in our Fenster. And this is Fenster's legs in the fishnet saying, I think the dress is amazing. And the fishnets, woo. Uh, this is a Fenster tribute saying, give me a reason to love you. And uh, he replies saying, oh, you goddamn fucking bastard. Finn plus that song, really? Like I needed it any worse than I already have it. God damn it, he says, because he's so in love with Finster. This is a married man with an adult child who's a female, and he's, like, publicly salivating over this fucking guy. Um, these are the chat logs, by the way, that explained his email address. Uh, 10 talking to us contest, one paragraph of what you like about Finn. 500 character limit, give out email, 10 muses at gmail.com. He'll choose the 10 winners and give 100 to each. Finn knocks on the door and answer. 10 posts is 10 muses. Um, I was first attracted to Finn because of her girl next door feminine beauty. But the more of her I experience, the more I realize she's so much more. She is playful but extraordinarily hardworking, intelligent but self deprecating, independent and entrepreneurial talented and creative but most of all she is sweet well-intentioned honest and a decent person if you look closely goodness shines from her face like some means because of this she'll always and undeniably undeniably be lovely so this guy's married i'll reiterate that uh the other creepy fucking thing is that um finster uh is technically gender fluid he doesn't identify as a woman um, and I know that that's all play pretend, but, uh, hear me out, humor me on this. Fencer's gender identity is not a woman, so he doesn't use she, her pronouns. He doesn't identify as a woman. He identifies as, as, as like a non-binary type. Um, and he goes by he, him pronouns uh, formally. So you would think that 10 Muses, who has the utmost respect and love for Fenster, would know this. And would address Finster by his preferred pronouns, right? Following the logical sequence, that's what you would expect. But he doesn't. He chooses to use she, her to further feminize and drive home the point that Finster should uh, try and be as bimboed out as possible. Which is creepy to me. And I know that's like a weird thing to play pretend with the pronouns and shit, but I see the subtext chat. The symbolism uh, that's it for Finn I just want to point out this guy this is still like an ongoing thing uh, there's been mass deletions of like everything related to uh, this guy it's getting cleared out there was some discussion like I said there's some discussion about his uh, son um, but they're pretty sure that it's him now thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J this is the king of bold here Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.